Chapter 15 Verbal Noun, Gerund and Participle Verbal Noun All verbal nouns are not gerunds, but all gerunds are verbal nouns. A verbal noun is formed in two ways. First, by adding suffixes, example, refuse plus al is equal to refusal, accept plus ance is equal to acceptance, judge plus meant makes judgment, etc. J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T or J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, judgment, acknowledgement, A-C-K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E-M-E-N-T or A-C-K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-M-E-N-T, both forms are correct, C-O-T. Second, by adding I-N-G, example, love plus ing makes loving, Sleep plus ing makes sleeping, walk plus ing makes walking, etc. Use of the gerund A gerund being a verb noun may be used as 1. Subject of a verb Smoking is a bad habit. Swimming is a good exercise. 2. Object of a verb. He gave up smoking. We enjoyed swimming in the river. He enjoyed sleeping in the open air. 3. Complement of a verb. One of his bad habits is smoking. What he likes best is fishing. His constant habit was sleeping. 4. Object of a preposition. He gave up the habit of smoking. He was rebuked for swimming in a dirty pond. 5. As a compound noun. Walking stick means a stick for walking. A frying pan means a pan for frying. A swimming costume means a costume for swimming. When a gerund is preceded by a noun or a pronoun, it must be in the possessive form. Kareem's, my, your, etc. as the gerund is finally a noun. I hope you will excuse my leaving early. Correct. I hope you will excuse me leaving early. This is incorrect. Gerund and infinitive. As both the gerund and the infinitive have the force of a noun and verb, they have the same uses. Thus, in many sentences, either of them may be used without any special difference in meaning. Example, infinitive is, to walk is good for health. Gerund, walking is good for health. Infinitive to find fault is easy. Gerund, finding fault is easy. Infinitive, he likes to play cards. Gerund, he likes playing cards. Infinitive, we eat to live. Gerund, we eat for living. Perfect participle, having plus Past participle. There may be a combined participle, present participle plus past participle, called perfect participle. It may be in the active voice or in the passive voice. Having rested a while, we continued our journey. Active voice. Having been notified by the court, he appeared before the judge. Passive voice. Note, first, present participle with continuous tenses of the verb be. I am doing the work. I was doing the work. I shall be doing the work. Second, past participle with perfect tenses of the verb have. I have loved. I had loved. I shall have loved. 
Third, past participle in the passive voice with tenses of verb be. I am loved. I was loved. I shall be loved. Fourth, like an adjective, a participle may be modified by an adverb. We saw the man in an almost dying state. Fifth, like an adjective, a participle may have degrees of comparison. I am more interested in the matter than you are. This is the most surprising news. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.